Hey guys, it's Bible Girl. I know it's not my usual day to post a video, but uh, I've been watching YouTube videos as I can't go to sleep, which really sucks when I have to be at church in the morning. But um, I saw a video on Random Cast's channel that I wanted to reply to since I'm awake. <laughs> Uh, obviously, when I said the church thing, I am speaking as a Christian, and the username would make that obvious, too. The The point of the video he made were, were two points, one of which was about someone thinking the devil was responsible for church and state. Uh, I'm not really going to touch on that. Uh, Christian, I believe in the existence of the devil. Uh, there's no reason to have a discussion about that with someone who's not Christian, because they don't believe it and I can't force you to believe something when you're not a Christian. <laughs> but uh, the main point I wanted to talk about was he mentioned that uh, in Texas they're not wanting to teach critical thinking because it's disrespectful to God and parents and other authority figures which I thought was ridiculous and I did want to bring you a Christian's point of view to show that we don't all think that that makes sense. <laughs> and again, it, it is really late for me, so I'm sorry if I'm a little weird. <laughs> what, what I found really intriguing about it, actually, is you made some point that high schools don't do a great job about tr teaching critical thinking to begin with, and I kind of agree on that, no offense to my high school teachers, uh, in the see, counting kindergarten, 12 years of high school, and the two years I had of community college, all those years of public school, I don't think I learned anywhere near as intense a value in critical and personal thinking and figuring things out for yourself than I did when I went to a Christian university. Which is weird, and I can't speak for all Christian universities. And apparently mine was a little more liberal in some things than others. So there's that, but when I went to Hope International University, I learned so much about thinking for myself and not taking things at face value. And that was how they taught the Bible. And I thought that was amazing. I had professors, they would always say, like, don't take what I say, don't take what your pastor says at face value. Pick up the Bible, read it yourself, learn the history, learn Greek. Or if you don't learn Greek, pick up some books that can teach you what this word means and really understand what this book says. Don't just take it because that's what mom and dad told you to believe. And... I grew so much as a believer and as a person in general with that idea being taught to me that you need to figure things out and learn and don't just take it for what people say but really learn and that goes beyond the Bible that goes to to politics which which is why I really I, I don't know if I'm even a party anymore um, I'm registered as a Republican because of certain moral issues that go with the Republican platform, but there are so many things that I agree the Democrats on now. And it just boggles my mind, and for the first time since I've been able to vote, and really the first time since the election that happened when I was in third grade, <laughs> I have no idea who I want to be president. Uh, at the moment, I, I am terrified at both options. <laughs> but, um, I like the idea of critical thinking and learning and gathering this knowledge and going and listen to other people's ideas. That's why I like random, random cast this channel, although I don't post a lot. I, I love hearing people's points of view who aren't the cookie cutter thing I grew up with. A as it is, I, I go to church. <laughs> At my church, I go twice a week, um, once a week is Sundays, and then I go Wednesday nights to help out with the junior high ministry, 
and I'm kind of trying to go more on Fridays too. <laughs> and then uh, on Mondays, I go to another church for a Bible study for people my age. <laughs> on Thursday nights, I hang out at a game night, which is pretty much solely populated by Christian people too. So I, I don't see a lot of other people's opinions or viewpoints. And, you know, when I do go somewhere else, like, uh, occasionally I go to a bar where a bunch of my high school friends go, I don't actually drink. I drink, like, Coke, which is weird, but <laughs> it's where they're at. They're all pretty much Christians, too. And I might meet someone that's not, but I don't really have a lot of intense connections. So I, I really like YouTube, and I really like the Internet, and I really like the chance just to to learn what other people think and believe and and they think to know to be true and I, I like to dialogue so even though this is super early in the morning and I haven't slept yet <laughs> and whatnot it, if you wanna bounce back with me random cast that, that would be great if anyone else wants to talk with me that would be great I, I just love hearing other people's thoughts and views and lives and I love to learn, and I love I love to share mine. And, you know, I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he died, and he, he rose from the grave, and he gave me a new life of salvation and, and peace, and, and not just a ticket out of hell, because that, that's, that's not what the Bible says at all. I mean, read it, just like my professor said. It, it's a new life now about going out and making an impact and helping people and changing the world and you know that's why I went to a Christian university because I want to work in ministry uh, crappy economy to do that <laughs> but I'm still trying and I'm rambling so good it's right now it's early morning for me whatever it is for you have a great day. I love you guys. God bless. And I will see you on Tuesday for Testimony Tuesday. Or if my day is easy tomorrow, I may do a review on the newest Doctor Who because it made me cry and very sad. And I haven't talked to you guys about Doctor Who. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>